Welcome back to the tavern, my friends. Something a little bit different today on the menu. Um, menu? Music react? Menu? Thing? Something? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to listen to a variety of different music, and I know recently DC has done stuff with isekai things? Question mark? Now, I'm not a huge DC fan, but I am at least familiar with a lot of their uh, superheroes and aspects and things like that. And I guess the Suicide Squad ended up having an isekai uh, based or named after... No, I, shouldn't say, I shouldn't say named. Name is probably not the right way, but kind of based uh, after, like, just an anime. Which I'm not used to seeing DC go into the anime route from there. Especially with them saying literally the title of this anime being Suicide Squad Isekai, which is hilarious to me because actually having them in an isekai realm seems so bizarre to me. Um, I've not really seen any of the recent media with Suicide Squad. I've not really seen any of the recent things with, uh, like, didn't they just have, like, a Heroes Never Die game came out that kind of flopped not that long ago because I heard it detailed and streamed and gone crazy for, like, a week or two, and then it just, like, dropped off the face of the planet, so... And I feel like that's what happens a lot with DC, unfortunately. You either have stuff that is really good and stays, like a lot of the Batman franchise. The Batman vs. Superman franchise was good. I think, yeah, the Aquaman series stayed for a while. Um, and these are all movies and stuff. So I, I've like, the, the, every once in a while DC gets through, but I mean, it's so, like, enshadowed over the, uh, over the MCU that it, it's hard to, you know really have my radar in any of it but the opening and closing theme apparently for what i'm going to react to today is apparently a banger according to people not only within comments but people who've really wanted me to listen to this uh speaking of other things you want me to listen to by all means if there's anything you want me to react to whether it's opening or closing themes for animes video games just uh osts for whatever other musicals there's a whole list that uh, we've been starting to keep together. That way we can end up bringing more of this React content and, you know, kind of go forward. So if there's anything else you want me to listen to, no matter how old or new or whatever, put it in the comments below just so we can end up seeing and experiencing more music because that's what we want. But this is going to be, again, the Suicide Squad Isekai. I believe this is fairly new. Like, fairly new. I know the video that I have at least posted here is... I think it's only, like, nine days old. It's, yeah, it's only, like, a week and a half. And I know DC Comics are a lot more um, popular than than most of their, like, media franchise. That's how it's been for a long time. So I'm kind of curious what they end up doing, at least for an opening and closer for, like, stereotypical Isekai themes. Um, it's, if they're trying to do typical anime tropes, the beginning is probably going to be some type of upbeat, banging, bringing thing, at least. And the closing theme is probably going to be some kind of upbeat, banging thing, because that's what they always do if they're trying to replicate that good old anime trope. But, you know, let's just kind of listen to it. I'll do the start and go stuff like I typically do, and, and we'll just go from there. Let's have some fun with something a little bit different. That That's the major thing. Plus, you know, I want to see how the animations are. Like, I've... What's the other thing? The Harley Quinn... Um... DC series. I don't know where it's on, but that has made waves for a while with how adult and raunchy it is. So I'm wondering if this is just trying to to uh, branch out and see if they can hit more people with the anime fan esque uh, content. So I don't even know if this is out yet. I'm assuming it is, just because if they're already putting opening and closing themes, they're most likely already there. But anyways, let's let's. Let's pin this apart a little bit. Let's let's watch it. Most opening and closing themes aren't super super long, so we'll 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 see what the mood strikes the bard today. So let's go ahead and watch this. Oh, it's a Warner Brothers Japan thing. That makes sense. Are you combining rock? With jazz, you give me those those like brass hits right at the beginning. Da -da 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 -da. This already feels more more like 
like whenever you have a theme like this, this reminds me a lot of of uh, Spy X Spy's introduction. Uh, from there, immediately, like thinking onto there with the we're gonna we're gonna pierce you immediately with this very hard rock ballad, but then have these jazzy instruments like playing in the background. I love a good brass line. I'm a I'm a brass specialist myself, so when I hear this, da -da 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 -da, it makes me already kind of like ooh, is this super secret spy ish type thing? I, I I don't know. That's just always what that hits me when you have those things. And again, Suicide Squad's supposed to be like like this hitman group so it would make sense well that it would be more spy-ish like but that's already a good start to that i like it made me excited just by listening to the introduction i like that a lot <laughs> the animation's really cool i like it I love those brass hits at the top. They really help to make this very interesting mood to go along with it. No, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, I knew there was something that this is reminding me of, but just this introduction with like showing the characters and having this like all these brassy hits. This reminds me of like an opening to Cowboy Bebop. I wonder if that's where they took some like inspiration from there gosh that reminds me of all the times i used to watch that anime like over and over at night it was always at the time when they started to showing the more raunchier well whatever time kids like on toonami the toonami block on cartoon network and it'd always be on it like early in the morning and i would just be like watching this and, and just like head banging to the music in my bed while i was secretly you know going to sleep for school the next day Call. Very little shop of horrors esque, and I, I like that style. Alright, I'm going back. I love the animation style for this. This makes me want to watch this. But yeah, this reminds me so much of Cowboy Bebop. Showing action animation just like normal. And I don't really know the Suicide Squad that well. Besides maybe like Hammerhead, Joker, and Harley, but that's about all I know out of it. But like this jazzy rock guitarish is such a cool combination. It makes you just want to headbang the entire time. I like it. This gives me so much Cowboy Bebop vibes. And this makes me want to watch this. Oh, I hope this is good. Because just based on this beginning part, it seems like really cool. And, and I don't know. It's just the jazzy overtones of the hits that we have that seem to be uh, helping to put the chord progression forward. And then having that like rock guitar like right at the end there. You, you obviously have this driving bass line. Do, 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 that's going to be used to kind of like, you know, push forward with all of like the rock styles. But just having the surprising like, da, 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 da. It's, it's jazzy. It's mysterious. It's very spy-like. It's like super secret mission. And I know in a lot of senses, that's what Suicide Squad is supposed to be about. Like these super secret missions that, that the Justice League can't be bothered to do. But the Isekai thing is is interesting it's interesting but i like that like that that guitar solo at the end was very was was very like like uh 70s 80s like raunchy i'm gonna play as loud and as crazy as i can and i kind of like it Let's see if i can get that solo one more time in there it's a really cool theme i like it though yeah, that guitar so at the end, very Axel-like. I love it. It's perfect. Alright, I'm curious about this anime now. That's cool. Very Cowboy Bebop-like. I love it. Alright, what's their outro like? Oh, I love the style of music.
I love this style of techno jazz. I love this style of techno jazz. And I don't know if techno jazz is the best way to put it. Also, the character designs are so cool. Character designs are so fucking cool here. But, like, a lot of it is just this, like, upbeat kind of, like... I guess the best way to put it is raunchy or sexy music. Um, again, those those brass hits really do a lot to to kind of really enhance the chord progression that they're going for over here. And I, I can't really understand the vocals too well. I would need to see if I can pull up lyrics or something for it, but it just it just screams. It fucking just screams we 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 be secret society type thing. That's why again it reminds me of Spy X uh, uh Spy X Spy, things like that. It's just I like this style of outro. It's a stereotypical outro where you have all of your main characters doing their poses while you have their leader doing some pose. That's probably how a lot of it's gonna be. Because it always reminds me of the meme that I see a lot when it comes to like anime closers. Um and I remember seeing it on a TikTok trend a while ago. The best friend just died. The main character just died. And then you go to this outro, which is like this all upbeat, kind of raunchy music. Meanwhile, you're just hit with an emotional gut wrench. And they, they do that on purpose. They do that on purpose to hook people. And having very, very like strong opening and ending outros. Or opening and closing themes that are like like this. It's, it's, it's perfect to make people want to come back next week. That's why they write with such upbeat craziness and they don't want like gloom and doom to be no matter uh no matter what has happened anywhere else so they they want to keep the listener like coming back and upbeat and happiness for it it's cool i like it i like it <laughs> i love the voice though Of course, you have to have all of the main characters dancing in one way or another, or doing poses. This is so stereotypical, but I love it. My god. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, really just posing everywhere? I am very interested in this now. You can't just have the pose and not me be interested. With the awkward pose at the end. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm actually interested in this anime now. Like, again, it's... it's. I, I wish I... I don't know, is there closed captioning on this? Like, like, can can I get an idea of what the what they're saying here? Let Let's see how bad the closed captioning is. I'm curious. I just like the you got you got the freaking dance poses. You got everything here. Yeah, give give me some lyrics. Give me some lyrics. Let's see if I can get any lyrics out of this. Something about karma. Something about villainous. Yeah. <laughs> the subtitles are not gonna help. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me open up a new tab and let's see if I can look this up super quickly. Give me one second. Uh, su uh, suicide squad Isekai. Uh, isekai anime closing lyrics. Can I can I look up what these lyrics are? Do they do they have them? Do they have them anywhere? Or is this too new that they just don't have it? I don't think they have them yet. Give me lyrics. Give me lyrics. Give me lyrics. It's called Go Getter. Wait, is this Mori Colopi who wrote this? No fucking way. This is more. I thought I recognized that that freaking that that uh th that uh voice. That's fucking Mori's voice. I had no clue she wrote this. Oh my god, I really want to learn know what the lyrics are to this now. Oh my gosh. All right, that made it even better. I'm like, I know that voice. 
I 100% know that voice. I'll have to look up lyrics at another point. I don't want to, like, waste too much time with that right now. But, like, it's just... You, you got the stereotypical, um, upbeat lyrics that you put onto there, and it's just, it, it catches a listener. Like, when you have those jazz hits there with the, with the brass, when you have this boom, 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 it just, it gives spy ass movies. Like, it, it gives, it, it sounds like a spy anime to me, and I like those type of things. This made me kind of hooked on to here, but again, anime's openings and closings always have, like, so much going on with them that it's always kind of crazy just to kind of listen to it. Um, it's, I don't know, there's just something about it that, like, draws my attention to it. I kind of want to watch this now, even though I don't know too much about this group. But when an anime has a really catchy opening and closing theme, and especially the fucking closing theme was done by Mori herself, my god, one of, one, one of the, like, oh my god, one of the, the Ian Hololive English VTubers. God, that makes me even more like, e. I want to see the lyrics. I gotta look them up at some point. Oh, it does sound very Mori like, oh my god, she has gone such a far way. And 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 I think I remember someone telling me that it was Mori Kalopi who ended up doing that. I'm probably saying the name wrong like I do with everything else, but like uh, she is one of the first English VTubers I started to watch when English All Alive came up, so the fact that she's the one who wrote these lyrics and sung it, it just it's it's so it, it's so like her. And it's just that jazzy overtones. We love a good jazz piece. <laughs> If you want to hear me me talk or uh, yabble on for hours about anything else, by all means, put any other suggestions that you might have in the comments. We're slowly getting a list together, and we'll continue reacting to some of your uh, favorite music things. Uh, plenty of things coming up in the future, so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I always take a lot of time to try to read all of this, so if you enjoy the content, make sure to share it around all right guys thank you so much as normal for watching i will see you all next time Bye bye